Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the Bitcoin chart, looking at some support and resistance levels once again, and I'll be giving an update on the competition that has started today. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy the video. And uh, let's recap what happened yesterday. Uh, obviously, we had the descending triangle, and we were saying this has to be viewed as it can be broke, you know, a neutral pattern. Just because it's a descending triangle does not mean it's a bearish pattern. Obviously, you're in a big uptrend. It's uh, you can be view it neutrally, and obviously, you moved out of that pattern. And we were saying if we break to the upside of the pattern, we are looking up towards those highs. As you can see, the highs slightly front run at the moment. Doesn't mean it's game over yet, though. But nevertheless, that would be the target once you break out of this symmetrical tri descending triangle. Apologies. You could get an official kind of target, and that would be taking the length of the triangle and expanding it from the breakout. And that would give you a target of around $19,000. Okay, so $19,000 would be the official kind of target. Obviously, if we had a broke down, which we, we didn't, if we had a broke down, you would have been looking for around $16,000. But uh, that's no longer the case. Uh, you got a target of around $19,000 from that triangle. Uh, I think naturally, if you traded the breakout, you really would have been taking profits by now. So it's not like you hold everything to $19,000. Um, you know, even that, let's just say it does go to $19,000. As a trader, if you have not have, if you have not taken profits on a long off the breakout of the triangle already now, then I think you should be, an, I would personally be thinking, one one would be taking profits right now if they long the breakout of the triangle even if it goes to nineteen thousand dollars you don't want to be thinking to yourself oh if i had not taken profits i could have made even more money you know that's not the you know that's not the way that you want to think right now i personally would be thinking that's an absolute great trade it's hit nineteen thousand dollars i'll move on to the next one the situation that you're left in let's just say it does break down from here or it does swing fire pattern the highs for example or we you know we fall down I think you'd be more annoyed of seeing a winning trade turn to a big loss. And that, that's the way that I approach the market anyway. So you can probably tell I have taken profits, obviously a percentage of profits. What do we have then going on? Well, this was a pretty nice one last night. Okay, so this was a pretty nice what happened. Um, we had like this head and shoulders. It looked a lot nicer in the time. Obviously, now it looks a little bit it looks a bit different but we had this like kind of head and shoulders pattern we had almost the left shoulder ahead and almost like an extended right shoulder and you can see how that was giving you your neckline sort of support along here and it was a really big fake out in the end and i and many other champions in the group were all looking at this same pattern expecting it to end in a fake out so essentially you put in a you know known as like a topping pattern so you put in a head and shoulders pattern which many people would be expecting it to be bearish breaking to the downside and because the trend is up you don't have to view these patterns as bearish patterns they can actually be viewed as continuation patterns and it, it kind of goes against the textbook sort of theory and though it broke down here it would not have hit a head and shoulders target again you're taking it from the high of the head to the ne neck um you know to the neckline and then you can see that would have give you a, given you a target of around 16 17 but instead the target got front run and then you test the neckline, you reclaim the neckline, and well, you, the rest is history sort of thing. You, you're up to where you are now. Um, so that's something that I noticed last night uh, that I thought was another interesting point on the chart. Uh, so what do you have going on right now? If we zoom into a lower term time frame, uh, we currently kind of have this support resistance level, which I feel is, 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 is a key level, basically. You can see from here the first high that we really made. And now you can start to see how we got resistance 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 back into support back into support lost resistance and now tapping it again as resistance so we're almost envisaging like this is could be viewed as the middle of a potential range obviously i'm not we're not saying how long this will last um we're, we're on a two minute time frame you have to remember but we can start to see okay we have more or less the low of a range i feel like i'm going to sneeze <laughs> we have the low of a range we have the highs but really the, the standout point here is the mid middle of the channel and uh, do you want to guess what we have on the middle of the channel we also we also do have this lovely point of control okay which is more or less the middle of this channel so we can see a lot of volumes being built up right here at around eighteen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars 
and i generally say um you don't really want to be trading the high of the range you you, you sorry in the middle of the <laughs> man, my, my mind is in a lot of places right now we don't generally want to be trading the middle okay this is not the best place to trade you want to trade the longs at the lows you want to trade the shorts up at the highs the middle of the channel is not offering you the best trades okay it's, it's just not really offering you the best trades you want to you want to be patient wait for the highs wait for the lows um and again i've acknowledged this many 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 times if we trade a range like this and let's say we get let's just say we have four trades of the lows four trades of the highs and um you know we've won the trades and then for the fifth attempt of the lows we get stopped out because it breaks down that's part of range trading you you cannot expect really to have a you know you definitely cannot expect to have a hundred percent win rate if you're if you're buying the low of the range you get a few bounces and then you know the, the fifth time it breaks for example obviously you're going to take a loss so um yeah don't go into range trading or, or low term time frame trading expecting 100 percent because it's just impossible okay uh, but what we can say is we have a really nice potential range here we have defense over the lows being put up really clearly and we have a defense of the highs being put up really clearly we can say the trend is up okay so that that one one would imagine that this, the momentum and strength is is going to break to the upside but there's absolutely no guarantee of that if we break to the low of the range you can trade shorts but we can start to see the picture here of okay in terms of speaking in probabilities it's, it's more likely to break up just as this 50 50 50 pattern was more likely to break up because the trend is well, is really bullish it's, it's as simple as that okay we can be aware that this triangle is giving you a target of around nineteen thousand dollars but i also do think as always you want to be careful for the swing failure pattern of the high that, that could bring you up to around eighteen thousand seven hundred dollars um you know before heading down if you get a swing failure pattern but i'm not really so concentrated on that literally at the moment i'm just <laughs> i am simply trading this range currently in a long from the low of the range because wh why would i not be longing from the low of the range um so that, that that's what i'm going for now i have hit my take profit one which was the middle of the range okay my take profit two is going to be the higher range and then i'll go from there um you know really not hard trading that's kind of what i got for you today in this analysis i wanted to point out to you how the triangle traded out obviously a break of that then the head and shoulders fake out which we, we just love to trade at chart champions and now the range that you know th th this will suit me for the next i don't know we can potentially envision this to last another hour hour and a half so Hopefully this will be of use to you by the time you watch it on, on YouTube. And I want to end with the last bit of news, which is obviously the trading competition. This is absolutely amazing. It has started one hour ago. We are one hour into the competition. The Champions League, Chart Champions with Bybit, giving away two and a half Bitcoin. This is almost $50,000 giveaway competition. It's absolutely amazing. First of its kind. And I am so proud and happy to be doing this chart champions the champions league this is what's going on it has started um and you can see how this is going it, it, it was quite funny i was joking around to the team saying <laughs> well, i'm currently in second place on it but you know the, the, the competition is lasting two weeks we're, we're one hour around it's it's obviously anybody's game still uh but yeah this is this is how the competition is going at the moment it has started fifty thousand dollars up for grabs this is obviously depending on whether bitcoin goes up or down but around fifty thousand dollars um that's the current prize pool that's locked in now uh we had hundred and hundred and thirty seven people join the competition i was looking for 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 the 400 to give away six but we got 137 and yeah uh, you'll have to keep yourself updated on how this progresses good luck honestly to everybody that's entered the competition a lot of money up for grabs here and uh yeah may, may the best trader win <laughs> um i hope that i've assisted you with today's analysis giving you an overview of the overall breaks the range that we have now the current resistance that you got which is, which is around 18250 and then you yeah, had a competition here which is two and a half bitcoin to be won uh obviously the overall prize pool there prizes for top 10 um yeah what, what an opportunity hope you thoroughly enjoy this and um have a brilliant 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 weekend everybody thank you so much and have a good one goodbye